let n be the number of ways in which five boys and five girls can stand in a queue in such a way that all the girls stand consecutively in the queue so that is going to be n is the number of ways you have five boys and five girls totally all the girls stand together so all these 10 people are standing in a queue but the five girls are standing consecutively right and then the boys are uh, present in other positions so that is the total number of the such permutations is n let m be the number of ways in which five boys and five girls i mean the same five boys and five girls can stand in a queue in such a way that exactly four girls stand consecutively so only four girls stand consecutively in the queue exactly four girls means you have four girls and then the neighbor of the four girls that group should be a boy not a girl in that in that case then there will be five girls so exactly four girls means after four girls the neighbor is going to be a boy not a girl so the fifth girl is going to be uh, uh, present in uh, some other position so and that total is going to be m such so that number of permutations and n is the permutations for all girls stand consecutively so what we want is the value of m by n so is asked in je advanced 2000 15 okay so first thing is let us take this um, all five girls together let us call this group to be 5g that means you have all the five girls together and then you have boys so let us call the boys to be b1 b2 b3 b4 and then b5 so you have six blocks and then this five blocks for five boys and this block is going to have a group so these are all individual blocks this one is going to be a group block but you have six blocks and you can place these six blocks in these six places so what does that mean if you are going to place this group block wherever all the five girls will go together there right so and of course if you are going to place b1 somewhere only one boy is going to play so this block is going to have is a very nice way of permitting so that you will see to that all the five girls will go together okay so there are six blocks here six spaces it can be placed in how many ways six factorial ways but the five girls internally can be arranged in five factorial ways Right? because there is an arrangement between the five girls so externally the six blocks can be arranged in six factorial ways internally the five girls can be arranged in five factorial ways but this arrangement is going to give you all the five girls stand consecutively in the queue therefore n is going to be equal to five factorial into six factorial so we got n now we should go for m okay so what we can do is we can have four girls together some four girls together that we have to select and then the boys the boys are b1 b2 b3 b4 and b5 and there is going to be another girl g so we are going to take one girl independently now we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, two, three, so there are 5 plus 2, 7, right? There are 7 blocks and then uh, 7 places, so 7 blocks should go to 7 places. Now uh, let us not bother about this condition that 4 girls stand to consecutively. So if you are going to do this, this is 4 or more girls can stand consecutively because this group four group block and this girl block may come consecutively so we will take four or more girls and if you are going to take the five girls together you will get um, only the four girls stand consecutively therefore this is going to have four or more this is going to have exactly five if you take off this exactly five from four or more then you will get only exactly four so that is the plan so this uh, four girls, uh, this seven blocks actually, seven blocks can be placed in seven places in seven factorial externally and this internally this 
uh, four girls group can be arranged in four factorial ways but then this four girls has to be selected from five girls right so that can happen in five ways so after selection only you are going to arrange the four girls internally and seven blocks externally so this is going to contain your four or more girls right um, in this group because when you have a four girls the neighbor can four girls group the neighbor can be a girl individual girl or it could be a boy therefore this is going to contain a combination of five girls consecutive and also four girls consecutive exactly four girls consecutive and five girls consecutive so this is going to be some but one important thing is this five girls consecutive will be counted two times in this i will tell you why when you have this five girls consecutive and then there are boys you would have counted this four girls and the individual girl block this g4 here and g here or the same combination can be counted like this is the same girls same uh, ordered girls so the last four can be a group four the first one may be an individual or the last may be an individual the first four may be a group so it and all the other boys are in the same positions that means the same arrangement is counted two times that means this n will be counted two times so this is going to contain 2n and it is also going to contain m there is no problem with m m is going to come only once therefore this collection is which is going to have four or more girls consecutively in this arrangement it's going to be five times four factor into seven factor but n will be counted two times m will be counted once therefore m plus 2n is this okay so we have got m plus 2n and we have got n therefore m by n is equal to 5 times 4 factorial into 7 factorial that is m plus 2n minus 2 times 5 factorial into 6 factorial this is your m because you are subtracting 2n by 5 factorial into 6 factorial so that is going to be equal to okay so in fact we can write this as 5 factorial into 7 factorial by 5 factorial into 6 factorial minus 2 times 5 factorial into 6 factorial by 5 factorial into 6 factorial so in fact this will get cancelled 5 factorial get cancelled 7 factorial by 6 factorial is going to be 7 minus 2 so 7 minus 2 is going to be 5 therefore that answer for m by n is going to be 5 so this is one way of finding so there is also another way in which we can find uh, this m so instead of uh, um, doing this way we can also find the m directly so we can also try that way and see how we can calculate m by n okay so now we can try to calculate n um, not n m uh, m where that exactly four girls stand consecutively right we have got these blocks there is a block of four girls there is an individual block for a girl and individual block for each of the boys right so that means we have got one two three four five six seven places for these seven blocks so instead of trying to place this uh, i mean as it is then we will we'll ask him what we had is we get four or more girls four girls or five girls exactly standing in the queue but this time we will try to see that exactly four girls stand in the uh, stand consecutively in the queue that means we have got two cases either the four girls that group blocks comes in the end or in the middle the why that two cases because if you put the four girls in the end then this uh, place should not be occupied by a girl otherwise you will get five girls together same thing if four girls group goes to this end this should not be a individual girl therefore when you are going to place at the end you have only one neighbor but if you are going to place for example the four girl group here then you have two neighbors in both the neighbor places you should not have the individual girl occupying therefore we are going to concentrate on finding the i mean placing this um, arranging this in such a way that exactly four girls stand consecutively in the queue so now let us have that in at the end right the 4g at the end when 4G is at, in the, at the end, it can be 
placed in two ways right and then the four girls can be internally arranged in four factorial ways right and then the neighbor of the four girls suppose it is placed here here or here it is going to be the same suppose it is four girls group is placed here this should be occupied by a boy which boy any one of the five boys in five ways correct and then thereafter there is no condition for the remaining five remaining five blocks can be arranged in five factorial ways but remember this four girls has to be selected from five girls in five ways so this is selection these are all arrangements right so this is the four girls at the end now this four girl group at middle so what do you mean by four girl group at middle suppose you are going to place the four girl group at the middle but how many middle places are there middle place means both sides you have neighbors so this could be a middle because you have neighbors so one two three four five so there are five middles right middle positions for the four girl group and then you have four factorial ways of arranging the girls internally and then wherever you are going to place the four girl group suppose you place it here then these two places should be occupied by boys otherwise five girls will stand consecutively remember we are going directly to make this arrangement only that four girls stand consecutively in the queue therefore if you place this four girls group here this should not be a girl this should not be a girl so these two must be boys so one of the five boys should be put in one place and one of the remaining four boys therefore this neighbors will be occupied by five into four ways and then once these three places are occupied remaining there will be four blocks and then four places that can be arranged in four factorial ways so these are all for uh, arrangements this is for selection so similarly this is a selection because a four girl group uh, four girls can be selected from five girls in five ways so therefore four girls at the end so that four girls are standing consecutively in the queue is this is the number of ways four girls at the middle that four girls exactly stand consecutively in the queue this is going to be the number of things so this addition is going to give you m therefore your m is going to be 2 times 4 factorial into 5 into 5 factorial into 5 so let us try to take something common in fact 5 into 4 factorial can be written as 5 factorial right so you are going to get 2 times 5 factorial into 5 factorial into 5 plus okay so this is 4 factorial into 5 is again going to be 5 factorial okay so and you get F, um, yeah another 5 into 4 factorial this 5 into 4 factorial can be 5 factorial and there is a 4 therefore 4 into 5 factorial into 5 factorial into this 5 right so you can see now 5 factorial into 5 factorial into 5 is going to be common therefore your m is going to be uh, this if you take common 2 plus 4 which is 6 6 times 5 factorial into 5 factorial into 5 but what is 6 times 5 factorial it is 6 factorial so m is 6 factorial into 5 factorial into 5 so that is your m so this is going to be m and what we want is m by n m by n 5 times 6 factorial into 5 factorial what is m what is n 5 factorial into 6 factorial so you can cancel this so what you get is m by n is equal to 5 so there are two ways one is you can see four or more girls stand together in the queue you collect and then you can subtract take away and find the, your m or you can uh, uh, see the position such that five girls will not come together exactly four girls then you have to take cases like four girls at the end and four girls at the middle and then calculate in fact the other one was much faster but if you have any trouble in doing that you can do this kind of a thing and you will be getting with same result therefore m by n is going to be 5 that's the answer